Hey guys, and welcome back. We are here in the shop and we are ready to tackle this pair of Thorogood mock toe boots today. Now you guys always seem to like the work boot uh, videos that we do and uh, we figured, hey, let's do another one on Thorogood's. Uh, the last Thorogood mock toe boot video we did was a little over a year ago and it did really well. We uh, received a lot of you know positive comments and whatnot on it. This time we are going to take it a step further than we did on the previous video. So without further ado, let's get started on this pair of Thorogood's. All right, so we're down here at the wash basin. We're gonna get these boots, give them a bath, then we'll get down there and actually start breaking them down. Almost out. My thoughts initially on these things, one, we're replacing this welt because they use a rubber welt. Not a fan of rubber welts. Um, and also the insole on this, you can see the gimming has come off of this. So we're gonna have to re-glue this just to put another welt on. So uh, insole and the welt, not a fan of. All right, it's time to put some new cork in both of these boots. But before we do that, guys, if you would, please give us a big thumbs up below. Just hit that button. I know we try not to say it too often, but it really does help the channel to grow and it does show YouTube that you're enjoying this video as well as us. So, time for some hot cork. All right, quick question. How many of you guys out there have pocket knives? Uh, I know that I do, especially being in this business, I am always using a pocket knife. 
and recently I lost one that I'd had forever and fortunately I was able to get this new one here, Beautiful Knife, by today's video sponsor, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and every month they introduce their members to cool new products such as outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more. Each box of awesome has around $70 in value, but you only pay a fraction of the price. And one of the great things that I like about Bespoke Post is that 90% of the products in Bespoke Post boxes come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. For example, the knife in the Terra box is made by Bare Bones, which is based in Salt Lake City. This Damascus steel knife is made by Buck and Bear Knives located in Pennsylvania. And the gut hook knife in the trail box is made by Titan International located in Illinois. And as I mentioned before, you only pay for what you want. You'll get a box of awesome assigned to you each month based on the quiz you take when signing up. And before it ship, you'll get a preview of what comes inside the box. And then you'll get to decide if you'd like to one, keep it, two, swap it for a different box on offer, or three, skip the month entirely for absolutely no charge. You only pay for what you want. Plus, the box lineup changes every month. And guys, with the holidays coming up, check out Bespoke Post for holiday gift ideas. Again, it is the gift that keeps on giving all year round when you buy someone a subscription. Also, if you like a certain product and you just want to buy that individual product, then check out The Shop, which is a link on Bespoke Post, and that's where you can buy individual products. Now guys, I chose to go with three products from Bespoke Post in my latest shipment. And the first of those is from the Flip Collection. It's that beautiful pocket knife that I was showing you guys earlier. I absolutely love it. The second item I chose was called Flame and it's basically a portable fireplace. And we've been using it to roast marshmallows and to just sit out on the front porch and enjoy the fire each night. And the last thing I chose was from their bar collection. It is the Charred American Oak Mini Barrel. Now this one I'm very excited about. I can't wait to put it in my office where it will sit and I will cure my own whiskey. And uh, I'm anxious to try that several months down the road as it begins to sit in this charred barrel and cure. Okay guys, to get 20% off your first box of awesome, click on the link down in the description box and enter Trenton20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com forward slash Trenton 20. So the volcano has run dry. Uh, I completely forgot to order another can of glue. So we're switching to another type of glue, just as good, um, but just a different brand. Now, we normally keep the glue and these pots have a better brush. This is a little pathetic brush that comes in it. But that's all I've got right now because I don't want to mix this into my other pots.
Okay guys, we have the soles stuck on here. Now, we did not show it, uh, us sticking the soles. I do apologize. Um, but anyways, we are gonna get these onto the belt sander, get these sanded down, and then I'm gonna take care of the uppers on these, and then that will be a wrap on this pair of boots. So, let's get to sanding. Okay, so it's time to make uh, show a little love to the uppers here. Uh, I'm gonna use some oil leather cream. Now, the reason I'm using that, and I just wanna show you guys again, especially for a lot of you guys that have never seen it before, the leather on these Thoroughgoods and a lot of Red Wings is an old leather, and you can tell when I pull up on the leather here, you can see how light it gets. And that's just one sign to show that is an oiled leather. So, I'm gonna use this oil leather cream and brown try to get a little more color back in here and then these boots will be ready to go now one of the things that you guys might want to be aware of if you do have this type of boot and you get one of these creams that has a colored pigment on it like the brown there are a lot of white threads on here so again, you do want to be careful if you're putting a colored one on like the brown that you don't get it on there. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to be real careful around the stitches and then I'm going to go back behind it with a neutral cream that has no color pigment and get the rest of the boot. If you want to be on the safe side, you can just use neutral from the get-go and then you don't have to worry about it. But just wanted to show you the two different colors that I'm going to end up using on this pair. Okay, we're done with this pair of Thoroughgood Mock Toes. Uh, guys, as always, just quick reminder, uh, check us out on potterandsons.com, uh, links down below. Also, our other uh, business, southernpolish.com. There's a whole lot more to come, probably in the next couple of weeks yep. for that one. So we have some really exciting news to come uh, from Southern Polish. So definitely follow us, check us out. You don't wanna miss it. All right, quick wrap up on this pair of Thoroughgoods. This one was a straightforward resole. We just did a, we did a few minor upgrades, mm -hmm. but uh, it was still kind of the same. Wanted to go with that Vibram Christie sole. Uh, we put new welts. new welts on it, um, put a uh, leather midsole, mm -hmm. and then just um, hydrated these things. But we, it was a little bit different than, we've done a third good before. We did a video over it. If you want to see that, we'll put the, the link in it, but mm -hmm. uh, we, we did, it was, it was uh, a little bit different. But. Yeah, that one was really simple. Uh, we didn't do a whole lot to that one and it got a lot of views, so you guys must have liked it. So hopefully you enjoyed this one even more. Like I said, we went even further on this one. Uh, but yeah, this pair of boots is ready to go. I think they look great. Uh, the gentleman's ready to pick them up. He is here local and uh, hopefully that will serve him well for, you know, whatever it is he does. And our laces. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah, guys, don't forget. We uh, got our own laces now. We so. do. The, the leather laces that we used in this pair of boots, those are available now on potterandsons.com. We do carry those and we cut them right here in our shop. Yes. So yeah, they're, they're from us. So, all righty, guys, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, until next time, y'all have a good one.